right, all my friends are dead. All My Friends Are Dead by Matt Wall, written in December 2017. This is it. A friend of mine died the other day. His wife was there too. The last thing he said to me was, this is it. He and I grew up together, but he aged faster than me. We worked horrible jobs together, but he worked more. Neither of us joined the war, neither of us wanted to. We both wasted a decade going nowhere, while we both had dreams of going anywhere. We dated the same kind of women. We both fucked the same kind of whores. The law never did either of us any favors, and favors were something that, that neither of us gave anyone. I was there when he made it big. He didn't notice what I had done. I don't think he got soft, but I know he just got old. For every year I aged, he seemed to age ten. The sickness snuck up on him, and then he said, this is it. Emptiness. There is an emptiness. I know what it comes from. It is here because she isn't. I am not used to being alone, not this alone. For days, for days and days, nearing weeks, I am lost in my own home. I am lost in my own body. I know where she is. I know why she's there. That doesn't change anything. I know she cries and it breaks my heart. The house gets darker earlier. The house stays darker longer. It is quiet, quiet, quiet. Normal sounds bother me now. Everyday sounds, everyday occurrences. I don't answer my phone and don't call anyone back. This is all my fault. If I were different, things would be different. If I, I would be like everyone else. I wouldn't be alone and empty. Uh, now this next one, the title of it is, what would that be um, for what is wrong with me? So 10 question marks with um, a dash after the first three, a dash after the next three to make it look like a phone number. But it's all question marks. There's me being clever again. Making it hard to just tell you what the fuck this poem's called. Um, let's see here. So... <clears throat> Remember all those times you would call me in the middle of the night? Remember how you used to say that you were going to kill yourself? And I would tell you to fuck off. Then I would say, no you aren't. Remember? I guess you lost my number. I don't think you're dead. I don't think you're dead. I tried to. It just doesn't work for me. You had told me so many times that you were going to die any day now. You always lied about those. You were always breathing. Heart was always beating. Your death came to me from a phone call, from a woman I never trusted, from a woman you never trusted. How the hell am I supposed to believe this? No body, no funeral, no casket, no urn, no will. None of the things you promised me. Just poof. No more you. You are now just as empty, just as invisible as you were when you were alive. No heirlooms, no stories, no photographs, no tears, no goodbye. <clears throat> this next one is uh, called To My Dead Friend. 
You always believed in me. Thank you. I miss you. That was probably one of the hardest poems I've ever written. Uh, that was a tough one. Uh, ripe old age. I'm getting to that ripe old age when everyone I know starts to die. From sickness, from life, from accidents, from on purpose. It makes me think a lot. I guess everyone my age thinks a lot. There are so many things to think about. Thoughts turn to worries. Worries turn to ulcers and diarrhea. Suddenly, you take more medications than you ever thought you would. None of them for fun, like in the old days. Suddenly, vitamins are everywhere, bigger and harder to swallow. Suddenly, you have more doctor's appointments than dates, tickets to shows, money. Then I guess one day, if you were good enough, we'll have friends and family think a lot about you. And then they will write a shitty poem about how shitty they feel. And the cycle will continue forever. The older I get. The older I get, I realize the less people I actually need to have around me. It's sad. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be a hermit. I told someone yesterday without even thinking about it. I said, I don't want any friends. I try really hard to make sure that I don't have any. I never thought that I had to put effort into making my circle of friends smaller and smaller until that circle was just one person. Dead Bird Hello, Dead Bird, you're a big fella. You would probably fill up a shoebox. You look pretty normal. Your head seems to be on backwards, though. Sorry you died. The next day... I saw the dead bird again. He hadn't moved. No coyotes came to eat him. No other birds pecked at him. No bugs. No ants. Strange. The next day came. There he was again. Same spot. Unmoved. No ants. No bugs. No other birds. No nothing. A week passed. Dead bird still lay head on backwards. Hey there, dead bird. Why will no one eat you? What is wrong with your poor corpse? What do all the other creatures know that I don't? Are you sick, infested, contaminated? What the hell is wrong with you? You seem like a perfectly good dead bird to me. Why won't anything eat you? I was getting mad, upset, angry. Why won't anything eat this dead piece of meat? Why am I the only one who doesn't know the answer? Stupid little creepy crawly creatures know, and I don't. I have opposable thumbs. I can drive a car. I know how to fucking type. If I go back outside today and dead bird is still laying there, I think I may crush it under my foot. It'll be messy. Dead bird seems to be bloating and the gas is inside of the corpse from the dissolving of the tiny organs. Uh, will I get sick? What if these gases are the reason no one will take a bite? It makes me so mad if its freaking head wasn't already on backwards. I think I'd twist its head around. Uh, how did it die? Its head is on backwards. Did something twist its head around? Did I twist its head around? I don't remember doing it. It does sound like something that I would do. I don't think I did, though. It also seems like something I would remember doing. None of this answers my original question. Why the hell is the dead bird still intact? Shouldn't something have come along and eaten it? This is the wilderness. This is how it's done. It's that stupid cycle of life. Why has the cycle stopped? Why has it stopped on my driveway? I'm about to lose my freaking mind. I'm going to go out there 
And there better be things eating it. There better be maggots. There better be something, damn it. If not, I'll pick that dead fucker up and eat it myself. But what if there's something wrong with it? Bird flu. What else do birds carry? I'm going to check right now. It's still there. <clears throat> there is, however, a new side to this story. It has moved. Not very much, but it is slightly in a different position as it had been. This tells me plenty. This means that one of the woodland creatures sniffed it, nudged it, maybe even tasted it. But left it. Why would it leave it? What cancer is growing inside that stupid dead bird? My heart is racing. My lungs feel heavy. Maybe I got too close to it. Maybe I should have held my breath. Dear God, do I have whatever death was growing inside that dead bird? My mouth tastes different. My heart races. I shouldn't have knelt down next to that dead bird. What was I thinking? I'm dying. Thank you, you stupid fucking dead bird. You have won. You have killed me. Keep away. Driving. People can't drive, but they do. They don't understand a four-way stop sign, but they drive through. They don't understand the difference between brights and headlights, but they shine on. They ride my ass. I'm already speeding. They just like ass. I want to kill them. I want to get out of my car. I want to rip them from theirs. I want to make them bleed. I want to hear their bones crack. I want them to cry, to gurgle, to gasp. I want my blood pressure to go down. Maybe I should stop driving. But that is a freedom that is mine. Who the fuck are these people to take that from me? Who do they think they are? They laugh, they shout, they ejaculate. They're in such a hurry, but I'm in a hurry. Why do they do this? Why do they tempt death? Why do they fuck with me? Gambling on the thought that maybe today isn't the day that he loses his mind. Literature is dangerous. I got a paper cut on my thumb reading Hemingway. Fuck that guy. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, the sun also rises, if you were curious. Uh, twilight. I love those few minutes between day and night when the sun has gone down, but its light still reflects against the sky. You can still see everything, but it's all tinted blue, so blue. The cherry on your cigarette burns neon orange. It glows. The blue everywhere glows. That's all. I just thought you should know that. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.